Hello everybody, this is Kendra and today I'm going to do show you how to do a couple of different styles and what this is, it's a flat twist so I did the flat twist like this down in a circular motion and then in the back I did one section here and then back here I had three on the bottom so to untwist it I'm just going to use a little bit of oil mixed with shea butter and at the front I had them I had it twisted over with Bantu knots so that it would be curly at the ends okay so I'm just gonna untwist that now I'm trying to do it as carefully as possible and take each section so that I don't mess up the pattern that it's made carefully taking each section untwist it I'm going to get some more. Just going to rub that oil in my hands and carefully untwist. And I twisted this. I washed it yesterday and it was wet and I twisted it. Then I took it out and it was still wet so it didn't take. But then I twisted it before I went to bed. Well, I had it twisted all day yesterday so it would keep the pattern. Just untwisting. And I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of rub to my scalp to break to break that up. Okay. In the back, I'm going to do the same. I need to do a little bit more untwisting here. Okay, now I'm going to take a pick. And again, I'm just going in at the roots. And my hair is a little bit shorter in the front because I had to cut it in the front. Okay, again, I'm just going all over and taking those twists out. And depending on how you want to style your hair, if I was going to wear it down like this, you know, I would I'm take this and just keep pulling and stretch it out. And in the back, pull it and I'm just pulling at the roots to stretch that hair out. Okay, and I'm going to <clears throat> do the back, use my fingers, stretch that out. Okay, just to make sure that the part is not showing. And if you want it stretched out even more, you could take a blow dryer and, you know, hold it like this at the roots and then blow dry those roots. And that would twist it out even, I mean, stretch it out even a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so that left a really good pattern as far as the curls. And if I wanted to... I could take oh, this and work with it a little bit more and pull this, this hair out in the back, the top. Okay. So this is how it will look if I just want to wear it all the way down and you could keep playing with it to how however you want to style it, but I'll just pull it at the root so that it doesn't mess up the curl pattern that it's made. Okay, I'm going to use, and whenever I twisted this, flat twisted, it was dry, well when I retwisted, so I just used the shea, I mean the, yeah, the shea butter Cantu leave-in conditioner, and I used a little bit of shea moisture curl and style milk. 
and it kept the pattern pretty well. So now I'm going to take some Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to put that at the around the edges to smooth down those what some people call baby hair, which no, I don't have baby hair. <laughs> so this is a soft brush. I'm going to take this and just brush it. Okay, I'm going to brush the, brush the edges. Okay. So I'm going to take a pick. Again, I'm going to pick these edges. Well, the, not the edges, but around there. And oh, I want to wear it like this. I pick those. Pick that out a little bit more. Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is one style. I just wear it all the way out. Okay. All right. And that's how that looks. And that's one style. Another style I could do is I'm just going to take this section right here. And I'm going to twist it. I found if I twist it like that, it'll help the bobby pin stay in there easier. Because my hair is so thick and it doesn't always want to stay the way that I put it. Okay, so I put this bobby pin in here, right there. And then I take the other side. And it's kind of like a mohawk style or frohawk. Brush that a little bit and then twist it so I can put the bobby pin in. Okay. And then play it a little bit. So that's another style, the frohawk style. Or another style I could do I can take it all the way up and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the gel on it right now because I think I'm gonna wear it down today but if I pin it like this I could do it you just have the one one side pinned up or I can pin all of it up so it just depends on how you want to style it. So I'm just going to pick this out. Again, because it's the first day that I've had it like this. The curls are still pretty, pretty set. And I didn't separate that a whole lot. I'm just going to take it at the roots because the more you pull on it, the more the curls are going to come out. So I'm not trying to pull on it too much. Do a little bit more separating at the top. Gently. Okay. So how I'm going to wear it today, I'm just going to pull up the sides right here. I'm going to put some gel on there so it'll stay. And twisting and put the bobby pin on. This one and I'm going to put another one in there somewhere. Now, the other side. A little bit of gel, just a little bit. And I'm going to brush it a little bit. Help. 
little bit more and chill. Brush. Okay, now I'm going to take this side, kind of twist it. Hard to twist it from that angle. There we go. All right now, I'll take my bobby pin, put it in there. Let's see, let me find another bobby pin. Put it right there. Okay. And I have a funny curl pattern at the front. My hair is straighter at the front than it is the rest of it. So I'm not going to bother that too much because it's going to come out if I mess with it too much. I'm just going to make sure this part is not there. Make sure that part was not too defined. And I'm going to do it like this. That white thing is okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull these, pull this out a little bit. Okay, and there it is. Here's the style, and this is a flat twist out with it then twisted all the way like this down and then to the back. Okay, so may feel free to leave a comment or suggestion or rather subscribe. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.